Hey man, say man, you came back. <laughs> that mean I'm doing good with these things, huh? But today, bro, it's just me outside with no cameraman. So I'm doing everything off the muscle and hustle, you dig? So don't get too mad about all the angles. But we still gonna be substantial in catching these animals from the channel. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody, it's time to turn that savage mode up because we finna blow up, you dig? <laughs> So before I zoom in and show y'all what I found today, let's see how good your eyes are at catching animals. What is in the grass? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Just pause the video. I'm not giving you 10 seconds. I'm about to zoom in. A Texas brown tarantula. Now these are very non-aggressive tarantula species. And they're actually pretty easy to catch. You can find these in Oklahoma, Texas, of course, is where I'm at, and in Missouri. Some people call them the Oklahoma brown, the Missouri brown, or just the brown tarantula. Let me pick them up so we can get a closer look at them. Uh, let's see. It's going to be tricky doing this with also with the camera, but I do have a carrier with me here if it gets too tricky. But let's see. Zoom out a little bit. Now, I do not know his aggression level. I told you, they are very non-aggressive, but some of them can be very aggressive. Aggressive at all. <laughs> Just walk straight on me, man. Very unaggressive. Like I said, this it's very rare that you will run into a aggressive Texas brown tarantula at all. Now, when these guys moat, you might see them and their legs are extremely black when they moat. I think it's the prettiest time that they will ever look is right after a moat. That's when you know that they're real healthy. They'll be smaller after a moat too, but this guy is just so docile and cool little guy. Now, they hunt on, you know, they eat roaches. Their main thing that they like to eat are crickets, but they'll eat small lizards once they get bigger. This guy's kind of small to the ones that I've seen before. But these, I'm zooming in for y'all. These tarantulas are, I'll say they're the perfect starter pet if you want to get arachnids, you know? Now, they do have predators out here. They're like, what? Tarantulas got predators? I thought they was the big dog. No. Like last video, Trilangula hawks, what they do is they'll catch these little guys, sting them with that stinger and paralyze them. Drag their carcass, because they're not even dead. They're alive during this whole process. They'll drag their body into a hole and lay their eggs in them. So when their eggs, eggs hatch, they have a fresh, alive Trilangula to eat alive. When these guys get caught, it is a terrible, terrible death for them. But... These guys, they live in burrows. You'll see holes in the ground, especially around Central Texas and West Texas. You'll see holes the size of dimes, like this big. And if you look inside that hole, it's one of these little guys right here. The Texas brown, man. Beautiful tarantula species. Just look at them. Just so docile. Hasn't tried anything. Let's see what we can do here, though. You finna go crazy. Like, like I said, turn that savage up. You feel me? Hold up. There we go. You know we by ourselves. It's kind of hard to do both. But look though. We're gonna try to put bro on the hat. Come on, go on the hat, buddy. Look at that. They just do exactly what you want. <laughs> this tarantula species is just so docile. They don't want to hurt you. They know that they can't really hurt you. Now they are. I'm trying to get them in the camera more. I'm more getting my face in the camera. This ain't no modeling channel. This is an animal channel. You feel me, Rob? So, these shalanchas right here, they are venomous. But the venom won't do nothing to you. Unless you're allergic to it, then, you know. Game over, buddy. Game over. But here we go. The Texas Brown Shalantula. He's trying to get down. He's, I think he's scared of being up there. I got you, homie. Here we 
go. Ooh, he's moving kind of frantic now. I think I'm starting to stress him out a little bit. So let's just let him back on the ground. Let him know. You're good, buddy. Uh, I'm stressing you out. I'm sorry, but I got to stop the video so I can let him go. It's time to get away. Now, these shilantulas live in... I'm going to put you down for a little bit, brother. And there you have it, guys. The Texas brown shilantula. I appreciate y'all for watching. You know, come back for more. You feel me? You did. This is my story. My name is Animal Father. Welcome to my show. I sat back and watched and learned how to make my episodes better for everybody to enjoy. It's time to be the next big Steve Irwin inside this animal game. We gonna get bit, we gonna get chased, and we gonna learn about every animal that walked the face of this earth. We will touch every animal that walks the earth. You better jump on the wave or get lost trying to catch it. Animal father.